hello everyone in this video you will learn how to make this memory file of group node with the simulation nodes and it is really useful for the case where you use the uh, blender dynamic paint and for the effects that appear and disappear after a certain amount of time and we're going to make it very general so we're going to have a factor base or duration base animation uh, for the attribute and it also allow you to update the underlying mesh as well so that you can use this on the character or the default mesh so let's get start so here i have set up a basic scene so i have animated this sphere so we're going to use fall off based on this uh, sphere to test our memory fall off group node and I have also added a basic material to this plane, which is just a uh, attribute based uh, mission shader. And before we start, you should uh, download these presets that I have made. They are free and you can download from the my Gumroad page and the link is in the video description. So first we're going to make a reroute and then press Ctrl G to make a group. Uh, why we did this? Because if we add the simulation nodes before making the group then blender may crash okay then we're going to store the attribute so let's this is the name and this is the value by default it going to has a, a zero value and then we're going to add the simulation output node and simulation input node and then we have to update this this attribute inside this simulation connect this to name and this uh, to the maximum node and then connect to this value and here we're going to connect the name attribute node and use the same name so what it is doing so basically if the current value of the attributes on this point is greater than the existing value then it's going to assign the new value to the attribute otherwise it's going to keep the existing value so let's uh name this as value and here we're going to connect our uh, file of node so type case mesh then face we want the file of based on the mesh faces connect this to this and let me show you first this here uh, one thing i would like to mention is that i have added a decent number of subdivision to this plane okay so that we have a proper values uh, for this uh, fall off so we have this and here we're going to type 0.1 then enable this fill inside so we have uh, this fall off and now let's uh, go to this and change this to a material preview so if we play the animation we can see that it is storing uh, the value of the fall off or the attribute with time this is a simple memory uh, file of node. Now let's animate this. Add the multiply node here and then we're going to connect this instead of directly. And then here we're going to type a, a value which is less than 1. So in this way these values uh, goes to 0 with time. See? They are disappearing with time. However, this is not the convenient way. So the best way is to use the map range node and then reverse this and this will be our factor or you can call this as a dissipation or a disappearance factor. So here we can control this. If it is one then it is only the current value. With this factor we can control the this disappearing animation with time. So now let's output this. So this is our factor and I'm going to also add some categories to this. Let's uh, make a empty uh, socket and put this here and maybe down this and then move these attributes to the bottom. And we're going to name this as geometry. So now we have this factor to control our animation uh, for this attribute. But we don't have control over time. Means from what frame this animation start or end. So for that we are going to use the switch node uh, based on the time. So let's add the switch node and then add this to the false and this to this maximum. So when the switch is false it is going to use the existing value. 
otherwise it's going to use the this factor based value and here we're going to add the end node with the two conditions first is greater than and the second is less than equal to okay and then connect this to the frame and also this to the frame so this is a like our animation start frame and this is our animation end frame uh, let's output these and also this one let's rename this as animation start frame copy this and then animation and frame so we're going to move this to the factor category and also duplicate this and move to the top so we have this now let's rename this as okay so now we have control over the animation uh, start frame or end frame means after the 100 frame this animation will stop let's test this see it gets stopped but the simulation is still working so we have to also add the control over the simulation time okay so we have to add the switch node here based on these conditions duplicate this here and disconnect this and we also need the switch node change this to geometry and connect this to the false and this to the true and then connect this to the switch node so now we have this is the simulation start frame and this is a simulation end frame let's output this and i'm going to set this to 55 volt add this and let's rename this as sim start frame and then sim end frame let's move these to the top of the list so now we have this uh, simulation control over time let's type here 150 so let's see whether it's working or not see our animation got stopped after 100 frame and simulation stopped after 150 frame so fine it's working and now let's add another feature to this is our values are slightly jagged so i want to smooth this inside this node you can also add the blur node here and input the smooth values directly to this memory fall off but i want the control inside this so let's uh, duplicate this one disconnect this and put this here and also duplicate this group input node and connect the name to this socket and here we need the name attribute node and plug this to this name and here we're going to add the blur node so let's also output these two sockets this is our iterations and wait so let's rename this this is a smooth iteration and smooth wait let's also change the default the five number of iterations and weight is 0 0.5 5.5 now we have this uh, smooth attribute values and now we're going to add the functionality to update this mesh let me first show you the problem if we add the transform geometry here and if i animate this underlying mesh or the rotation of that it is not changing see it's going to only change if we refresh the simulation but i want this should update during the simulation and it's going to be really useful for the is where we use this node on the character that animated character or the deforming mesh so for that we have to update the position of the points of this mesh so let's do that let's add a set position node here and let's delete this and we're going to update the position at the sample index node we want to sample the position from the mesh which is not inside the simulation here this will be the position and it is based on the index here i'm going to also add the switch node because this separation is expensive it may slow down the frame rate so we're going to use only when it is necessary so let's connect this to the true 
and this to the this socket let me hide other sockets as well and let's delete this so let's output this socket let's connect this to this and we going to name this as update geometry and let's move this to the this simulation category now let's go outside and test this enable first this update geometry now let's see see our base mesh is changing during the simulation as well now we have a proper working uh, memory base all of node but our animation is based on the factor i want to include the duration base as well means we have a proper control over the number of frames in which this value get animated okay so let's put this in a frame because this is our factor animations animation based on factor so for the duration case uh, we have to store the frame the frame on which the value of the point get updated of the attribute okay so first we're going to store the frame and then we're going to update that frame during the simulation and in the end we're going to use that frame you can call this as a local frame or the boron frame as a reference to animate uh, the attribute value okay so basically we're going to make changes here here and here so let's put this this store node here change this to integer and the name is like a local frame and connect this frame to this one and then duplicate this and put before this on this store node that is updating the value of the attribute then connect this frame uh, to this value now you can see that it is updating the local frame for all the points so we have to supply this selection uh, based on this value of the attribute so if this value is greater than a zero only then it going to update uh, the frame of the point so now we have uh, the local frame for each points and we have the value and here we need to switch this because this is currently using this section for the factor so we have to add the switch node here so that we can switch between the uh, different animations so change this to float and connect this to the true not sorry this to the false and this to the true so by default it's going to be the factor base but if we change this switch then we're going to use the duration base let's output this and this is our switch to control the animation mode animation this is factor slash duration let's move this to this category and now we have this switch we have the frame and we have switched this section as well now we have to map that or animate the attribute value based on the reference frame or the local frame so here we going to add the switch node change this to a float and connect this to the false and then connect this switch to the animation then we're going to map this attribute based on the time so let's add the map range node and connect this to the minimum to min and the maximum is zero or you can treat this as this is initial and this is the final and we're going to use here is the time let's connect this to this socket and for this we're going to use the frame node and before using this we have to subtract our animation start from this frame basically by doing that we are shifting this this zero frame or the start frame of the timeline to the animation start frame so add the subtract node and then connect this start frame to this and then plug this to the map range node so now we have our time and now we have to specify our this from minimum and from maximum from minimum is basically our this local frame so type local frame and the maximum or the end frame will be uh, based on our duration so we have to add a number of frames let's say 30 frames after the local frame then this go to zero okay with time so now let's see this i think we have to enable this uh, animation based on duration and now let's see maybe if i type 20 it's working 
okay but you can see that our animation didn't stop after the end of frame which is under the frame uh, because we haven't added that information here in this case we have added uh, that information using these logic nodes but in this case we have to add a different approach basically we have to stop our clock after this end frame so, uh, that we can achieve uh, with the clamp node so just add the clamp node and for the max we are going to use our animation end frame now the clock will stop after the end frame so let's go to the first frame and test this and see it gets stopped and then a simulation also gets stopped okay fine and now we can output this as our duration so let's rename this as duration frames and let's move this to the this category and i'm going to also move this down so let me make this full screen so that you can see the connections so these are the node setup so we have duration base then we have a vector base animation and we have option to update the geometry or control over simulation time control over animation time and the smoothness features uh, for this attribute and you can see that these input sockets are fields means you can change these values per point so if you scatter some trees and you want to grow after some time or based on some map that is changing so you can use that here as well so this is it about this uh, tutorial and if you like this work then please do support me you can support me by liking or subscribing to my channels or you can buy my uh, presets or you can support me on my patreon page all the links are in the video descriptions until next time happy nodding bye